Good morning. Welcome to Mondays with Marty. Today I am talking about sipping it all in my doma. So you can subscribe to my channel or leave me comments below. And that'll be nice. My name is Marty Hopflish. I specialize in foot care. Now today I have a very special thing to show you. It's my finger. Can you see what I did? <laughs> I fell on it. So there was a, a dramatic incident and there was a big, it swole a lot if you compare the two and there was a big blood blister under my nail. So this is what you call a sipping canal hematoma and if this happens in the toe usually it's um, somebody bumped their toe and there's blood underneath or it could be that uh, I see it a lot with clients that walk on the tip of their toes and there's constant um, friction when you walk on the toe every time it bumps and then it causes trauma at the back of the nail so then you'll often see uh, the, the toe and then a black at the back of the nail and that's just because it's continuous trauma causes a blood blister you can't, don't have to do anything for it it just dissolves on its own but like with my finger it was very painful so I actually did have to make a little hole to let the blood out so that it could uh, relieve the pressure now obviously when you do that you don't want to be um, sticking anything in, into your skin because your skin is amazing it, it protects you so what I did is I uh, uh, used the alcohol swab to clean it and I used a sterile needle to poke a little hole so it could bleed and then I put a um, band-aid on to make sure that no germs get in so that normal clotting can take place and body can do its work to make it um, uh, secure again so that's what I suggest for feet is if you have trauma to know what causes it so a lot of times people that have the problem with hammer toes they um, need to keep their nails very short so that the, the, the backfiring that happens doesn't happen that easily and also to to, to be aware of it it's not your black toe it's just a, a black blister under your toe and then what you often find is under the callus that falls because you're walking on an abnormal part of your foot you will also sometimes find a blood blister and um, yeah so if you take off the callus you'll find oh there's a blister and then there's um, usually open skin so just to be aware that you work very hygienically people that have this problem should not really be walking barefoot because you know floors are dirty places and if you have a blister that has a hole in it and you get germs in there you know it can easily have pus in it I've seen the pus a lot especially when you look at the toes and you compare it and then you can see oh this one is a lollipop toe big toe because there's pus in there um, beyond the um, blood blister so there you have it for sub ungenol hematoma and um, yes I'm almost at the end of all my lectures I'm very excited um, so I hope this is helping you and I'll see you next time